Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding workers with the highest salaries, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in DoorDash interviews. Let's jump right in. The question reads: Find the titles of the workers that earn the highest salary. Output the highest paid title or multiple titles that share the highest salary. So we are given two data frames, worker and title, and our expected output is also a pandas data frame, which has basically only one column and all the titles which has the highest salary, right? So if we look at the uh, worker data frame, right? So you have all the information: first name, salary, joining date, department, etc. And you also have the second data frame called title, which has basically the title of the worker, right? So what we need to do is firstly we need to find out which all employees have the maximum salary and for those employees what is the title of those workers right so that is what we need to do since we have both of this information in two different places right so the the first thing we should do is we should merge this information right so how we can do this in python we can use the merge method right so we can write pandas dot right so pd dot merge and then the first data frame is called worker right so we write worker we second data frame is called title right so we write title and since the name of the column that we are merging on is two different right so here we have worker id and here we have worker ref id right so we write left on right so left on worker id and then right on worker right so worker ref id and how do we want to make this join by using a left join right so we write how is equal to left right let me run this let's see what we are getting so here if you look at it so you have all the information from the worker as well as the title right so now you have the salary of the worker as well as the title of the worker at same place right so what we can do is let's store this in a data frame called df now we are only concerned with the workers which has the maximum salary right so what we can do is we can use the boolean indexing in this case so what we can do is we can write df and then we write df of the salary column should be equal to right df of the salary column that is the maximum value right so basically what will this do this will provide a list of true false values and when this is passed as a filter to the data frame right so it will only return those values where list had true value right so if i run this let's see what we are getting so you see like only those rows where the maximum salary was the salary of the worker right so the maximum salary is 500000 and we have two people which has that salary and if you look at the titles so there are assistant manager and manager so we are only concerned with the worker title right that because that is what we need in the output so what we can do is we can provide the list of the columns that we want right so here in this case we only need one thing that is worker title right so we write that uh, let me run this okay so we have this but the only thing that is remaining now to do is we need to alias this to best paid title right so how can we do this we can change the name of the column so we can use dot rename and then what do we need to rename columns and then we can provide the key value pairs so we need to change it from we need to change it from worker title to best paid title right so best paid title right okay this looks good let me run this okay so we have the output which is exactly same as the expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything looks good and everything is green so yeah this is how we do this in python now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in mysql again same question right uh, you have the same tables worker and title expected output is same as well and if you preview the worker as well as you know worker as well as the title tables you have the same information right so in this case also what we need to do is from the table called worker alias as w let's left join the table called title alias as t on w dot worker id is equal to t dot worker ref id and once you you know merge them then what we need to do is we can create a column 
which has the maximum value of the salary right so if i you know return all the columns and then use the window function maximum right so maximum of the salary column right so maximum of the salary column and you need this maximum of the entire thing right so you write just the over clause because this is a window function right so and let's alias this as say maximum salary right so we do that let me run this let's see what we are getting right so if you look at it you have information from the worker table from the title table and also the max salary right so what we can do is now we can store this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and now what we can do is we are only concerned with the maximum salary the employees and their worker title right so from this common table expression let's keep only those rows where the employee salary is equal to the maximum salary right and for them you just return the worker title right but you also need to alias this to the output one right so that is as best paid title right so yeah, this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so if you see our output is again same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all you had to do was you know merge the two information so that the salary of the employee as well as the title of the employees is at the same place and then we found out the maximum salary across all the employees and once we did that then what we did was simply kept only those rows where salary is equal to maximum salary and we returned the worker title so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video